Rita Koch and Yarmila Kratokvilova. These athletes are unquestionably two of the most talented and groundbreaking runners in the history of track and field, but they're also two of the most controversial figures to ever compete. Between these two runners, we've seen a total of 10 global titles, 18 world record performances, and an almost uncountable amount of national record moments. However, even these achievements in no way compare to one special title that both women hold. And that's the fact that both of these women are the owners of the two longest standing world records in the entire history of track and field. On June 6th of 1985, Marita Koch set the still standing 400 meter world record with a time of 47.60 seconds. This performance made her only the second female athlete to ever run under 48 seconds. And who was the other athlete to have achieved this time? You guessed it right, it was Yarmila Kratokvilova. This record has now stood for over 35 years. However, if you're looking for the longest standing world record in the history of running, look no further than Kratokvilova's 800 meter world record, which she set on July 26th of 1983. For this performance, she finished with a time of 1 minute 53.28 seconds, which is a performance that has now stood for over 37 years. This time was already borderline unbeatable, but what is perhaps even more impressive about this time is the fact that she managed to negative split this race, running her opening 456.82 seconds and her final lap in 56.46. Running a negative split in the 800 meters is already quite uncommon, but to do it during a monumental world record performance makes this moment extremely unique. Since these two performances over three decades ago, very few athletes have ever run even within one second of these times. In the 400, the closest any athlete has been since 1985 was 48.14 seconds, which is over half a second behind her time. And moving over to the 800 meters, only two athletes have ever been within one second of this performance, making this 800 meter moment truly one of the highest performances of all time. These two times are considered almost untouchable by many athletes around the world, but it's also for this exact reason that many question these performances. First, let's take a closer look at the 400 meter world record. At 47.60 seconds, many already consider this time completely unapproachable, but when we take a further look at Marita Koch's full list of personal bests, it's almost impossible to believe. Over one lap, her time still reigned supreme some 35 years later, but in both the 200 and the 100, her times of 10.83 and 21.71 are also two of the fastest times ever achieved. In terms of the 100, 200, and the 400 meters altogether, this athlete is far and away the fastest to ever compete. Faster than Flojo, faster than Felix, faster than anyone. Indeed, she has certainly raised a few eyebrows over the years with these times, but her controversy holds nothing in comparison to the 800 meter world record. In a very similar fashion to her German counterpart, Kratokvilova's world record time in the 800 is considered by many to be unbeatable. Also, her other best times place her well ahead of many of the fastest runners ever, but what really places this athlete in the realm of eternal suspicion has been her physical stature. Now, I want to go ahead and say that many athletes are naturally built this way, but what makes her achievement so questionable is the fact that most 800 meter athletes look nothing like her. While many in her home country maintain that this is her God-given body, others still find it hard to believe that a 32-year-old athlete that looks this way can break the 800-meter world record by such a large margin. According to her coach, who trained her for her entire career, she grew up on a very physically demanding farm where she was constantly lifting and performing difficult tasks for many hours. This very well could result in a more muscular build for an athlete, but the question of performance-enhancing drug use has followed her throughout her entire career. One of the most confusing aspects of these two performances is that back in the early 1980s, random drug testing was non-existent, meaning that athletes were more or less aware of when they would be tested for banned substances. It was only in 1988 that the World Anti-Doping Agency then implemented these random drug tests, which are now widely used around the world today. 
Considering this drastic difference in performance-enhancing drug use testing, many see this as a clear indication that before 1988, many illegal drug programs were probably widely utilized. Over the years, there have been many calls to either delete these performances as official world records or to create a separate category based on the likelihood of these times. However, as of 2020, these two world records still stand as the longest standing records in the history of track and field. And now I'll pass the question off to you. What is your opinion on these two world records? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching, everyone. And as always, until next time.